what if there is a way to fight cavities and have a sparkling smile naturally? There are things that you can do at home that will reharden your teeth and reverse decay. Hi, I'm Dr. Rachel. I'm your holistic dentist. I've got over 30 years of experience. And in this video, I'm going to take a deep dive into some powerful tips and tricks for remineralization. This is the secret weapon to strong, healthy teeth and reduced amount of cavities and visits to your dentist. So let's take a holistic approach to rehardening your teeth and reversing cavities. Now, remineralization is your teeth's natural defense against decay. By replenishing minerals that get lost through everyday wear and tear, sugar exposure and bacterial activity, you can strengthen your enamel and potentially reverse early signs of cavities. So here's a comprehensive guide to remineralizing your smile. First of all, you've got to keep your mouth clean. You've got to remove as much plaque and bacterial buildup as possible. And that comes down to good oral hygiene, brushing and flossing, cleaning in between your teeth, using water pick, mouth rinses, and so forth. Now, mainstream dentists are going to tell you to brush twice a day, and I agree with that, but they're going to tell you to use a fluoride toothpaste. Well, We've been taught that fluoride strengthens your tooth enamel and promotes remineralization. Well, it does, but fluoride isn't exactly a holistic approach. And even when used topically, um, as in your toothpaste, you do absorb fluoride. You absorb that via your mouth lining and by swallowing it, and you may want to look at a different option. So you could look at something like a natural toothpaste that contains minerals, and hydroxy appetite. Now this is the natural building block of your teeth and your bones. It's shown to be as effective if not better than fluoride without the potential issues. Now you're going to have to floss or clean in between your teeth and we want you to do that daily. That's going to remove plaque and food particles that harbour bacteria. We want to create an environment that's conducive to remineralization. I want you to not only clean your teeth and gums, but I want you to clean your tongue with a tongue scraper. Um, that's going to help remove bacteria from the little crevices that uh, on your tongue that contribute to acidity. And then that acidity dissolves your teeth and it stops them being able to remineralize. When your teeth dissolve, they become porous. Bacteria can enter the tooth. The acid starts to eat away at your tooth and you get a cavity that needs to be drilled and filled. There are also some dietary things that you can do to help remineralize your teeth. You want to incorporate calcium rich foods like dairy products if you have them, but I'm going to be a bit controversial here because I don't actually believe that you can absorb the calcium very well from things like milk, cheese and yogurt. It also can make you acidic. If you want bioavailable calcium, and that's calcium that you actually use, then the best type of foods are things like leafy greens, kale, spinach, your fishes like sardines and salmon are really good options. You're going to get the calcium and that's part of your building block for strong teeth. Now to get your calcium and absorb it and direct it properly, you need to pair your calcium with vitamin D3 and K2. These enhance the calcium absorption. So the vitamin D3 helps you absorb calcium and take it into your body and the K2 distributes it. It's like the manager that goes, you need to go over here and you need to go there. So it makes sure it gets to your teeth and bones and your calcium is not ending up in your arteries and giving you heart disease. So you want things like your good fatty fish, your salmon, your tuna, your sardines, mackerel, uh, cod liver oil, egg yolks and mushrooms, really good sources of vitamin D3 and your K2 as our organ meats. You probably though should consider vitamin D3 supplementation because to get the levels of D3 that you need from food and sunshine alone can be quite challenging. Now the recommended dosage for vitamin D is pretty low. It's something like 600 international units. Now, that's the equivalent of about a minute in the sun. Now, the reason they set on that level is because that's the level that stops you getting rickets when you're growing as a child. But 
for you to actually be healthy and have optimum health, we're now saying around 10,000 international units a day. That's about the equivalent of 20 minutes in the sun. So you're going to have people go, oh, what is she saying? 10,000 units. Yeah, I'm crazy today. <laughs> um, that's toxic. Uh, no. Is sitting in the sun for 20 minutes toxic? Are we all getting sunshine toxicity from some baking or going the beach? No, we're not. So let's just put it into perspective, okay? The other thing you can look at taking is phosphorus. Phosphorus is very powerful. It works alongside calcium for strong enamel. And then you get that from lean proteins like chicken and fish, nuts, seeds, and whole grains. They're good choices. You also need to drink water, guys. Not fluids, not alcohol, not caffeine, not carbonated and sugary beverages. We want water. It's essential to be well hydrated so you have good saliva production. All that gooby spit in there, it's not just for swallowing. It helps to wash away food particles and it has enzymes and minerals in it that help to neutralize acidity in your mouth. You want to aim, they say, for about eight glasses a day and probably have water that's more alkaline. Now, some of you are going to need to drink more water than that, depending on your body size, um, the environment that you live in. If it's hot and humid, if you're working out a lot, you're going to need more water. OK, I like a lot of water. I just like to keep my kidneys flushed and uh, keeps my skin looking young. Yeah, I know. Anyway. You want to limit sugar and you want to limit acidic foods and drinks. Sugar is going to feed the bacteria that produce the cavity causing acid. Uh, acidic drinks are going to dissolve your enamel and make it soft and porous. Then there's when you eat and how often you eat. If you're constantly or regularly snacking, then your mouth is going to be in a state of demineralization too often. And that means the minerals that keep your teeth strong and healthy are getting sucked out of your teeth. The teeth are becoming porous. Bacteria then invade and they start pooping their acid from the sugar that they eat into your mouth and they destroy your tooth structure. So you don't want things that are too acidic. You don't want to be snacking too often because your teeth aren't going to have the opportunity to remineralize and reharden, and that puts you at a high risk for dental decay. Try and have, you know, three meals a day, preferably two, to gain the benefits of intermittent fasting. I want you to also look at adding xylitol, so chewing on some sugar-free xylitol gum, which is a natural sweetener that the bacteria in your mouth can't process properly and it starves them and that means you get less bacteria and they're less sticky and they can't bind to your teeth. Uh, it also stimulates saliva production and that's going to help reduce the harmful bacteria. So after Every meal, you want to choose a gum that's sweetened with xylitol or a mint that's xylitol, and that's going to help reduce um, tooth decay because it's going to remineralize things. You also want to look at your stress levels. Chronic stress decreases your saliva production. It makes your body more acidic, and it makes your saliva more acidic, and therefore you are stripping your body of minerals because of that stress, and you are going to be dissolving your teeth and making yourself more prone to decay. So you want to take some relaxation techniques. I don't seem very relaxed today. I'm quite hyper. I'm really enjoying doing some videos for you. But, you know, chill out. Go for a walk. Do some yoga. Meditate. Uh, have a hot bath. Get a massage. Just look at things that you can do to improve and promote your overall well-being as well as your oral hygiene. And then, of course, I'm going to say it. Regular dental checks. Yes, Schedule regular dental checks, get your professional cleanings. It means we can monitor your mouth, we can check your oral health, we can look for early signs of decay, and then we can guide you into help you preventing those um, decay areas getting worse, help you to remineralize your teeth. Um, we can put treatments on your teeth. Mainstream dentists are going to want to do something like a fluoride varnish. We'll use a um, concentrated remineralizing product with natural things like calcium, phosphate and hydroxyapatite and xylitol in. There's also then, from a holistic standpoint, what sort of things do we need to also consider? Well, you need a healthy microbiome, both in your mouth 
and in your gut because that's going to play a role in your oral health. You want to incorporate some gut friendly foods like fermented vegetables. I'm not a fan of these sauerkraut and kimchi and yogurt. I would rather personally for me, I just use a probiotic. And then again, I've said about supplements like the calcium, vitamin D3 and K2 that are going to help aid with your calcium absorption. Remember that remineralization, it's an ongoing thing. Every time you eat or drink something, we're going to get this teeth demineralized, they dissolve, minerals get pulled out, and then we need to reharden them, remineralize them, and put those minerals back. So by incorporating some of these things into your routine, you can take a holistic approach to support yourself to have strong, healthy teeth for years to come. And yes, you can remineralize areas of early decay and you can reverse cavities but and this is the but you must listen to as long as the enamel is not broken and it hasn't chipped away or cracked or you don't have an obvious hole if you've lost the enamel structure if you've got an obvious hole in your tooth then you cannot um, stop that cavity you need that outer shell of the enamel to remain intact to be able to replenish and put the minerals back in there and repair the decaying area tooth remineralization happens naturally it helps repair minor damage to your tooth enamel this might help you to understand why you're more prone to cavities and why what I'm recommending helps to prevent them. So demineralization. When you eat or drink sugary or acidic foods and beverages, the bacteria in your mouth, they produce acid. This leaches and pulls minerals out of your teeth in the enamel. And this is the process called demineralization. This is the very first stage of dental decay and it can be seen on x-rays. If this doesn't get addressed, the bacteria will soon be able to penetrate deeper inside your tooth and you are going to need a filling. However, at this early stage, we can address this and we can repair the cavity. Now, do you see why we want you to have regular checkups and x-rays? We want to pick these things up early so that we can then remineralize them and prevent you from having a filling. So you need your saliva that bathes your teeth. It contains the calcium, the phosphate and other minerals. It's going to reharden and repair your teeth when that demineralization happens and the minerals get pulled out. We want to put those minerals back in. They can rebuild the weakened enamel, reverse the early signs of demineralization and early cavities as long as that mineral layer, the enamel, is not breached and it's intact. Hydroxyapatite in particular makes the enamel more resistant to these acid attacks. So remineralization, if you think of it, it's a bit like a tug of war between the minerals in your saliva and the acid produced by bacteria in your mouth. If you are on the side where remineralization is winning, your teeth will stay healthy and strong. But if demineralization wins, you're going to get cavities. And this is why you have to change the biochemistry of your mouth so that you can reverse the process. And I'm going to link to my 10 step cavity reversing formula for you. A diet high in sugar and acid will tip the tug of war team over into demineralization. If you've got a dry mouth, that's going to reduce saliva production and it's going to make it harder for you to remineralize your teeth. If you've got poor oral hygiene and you're not brushing away the plaque, then you're going to get bacteria producing acid and that's going to eat away at your teeth. And even though enamel can't regrow on its own, remineralization can help keep your teeth strong and healthy. So by following good oral hygiene practices, by limiting your intake of sugar, acidic foods and drinks, you can promote remineralization and prevent cavities and to do this, you must alter the biochemistry of your mouth. And to know how to do that, I'm going to get you to watch this video here.